Um, to kick us off tonight, I want to start a little bit about talking about why scholarships. So I have a few folks who are going to come up and help me, um, help me with some explanation on scholarships, why they're so important to our community and for our youth. So if um, those of you who are going to help me with, okay, come on, no, no, no bashful people tonight. Um, I'm going to throw a question first to our two students, um, Luke and Emmy. Um, from a student's perspective, um, and I'll invite you to step up to the microphone, tell us about why scholarships are important to you and what's led up to you um, being at the point this, this time in your senior year um, to be ready for uh, scholarship applications and hopefully some awards. <laughs> My name is Luke Phelps, and I'd like to say the scholarships that I've been awarded today, just they help out in more ways than anyone can know. As everyone knows, the cost of living and uh, college is just, it's always going up, it never goes down. And these scholarships will definitely help me get through college, being, being less debt, and it makes, it has less worries on my mind with them. Uh, I do plan on going to Western Kentucky University, and without, my parents here, as they have the cameras at right now. <laughs> I, I couldn't be here without them, and so I'd like to thank them very much, and everyone else here too, for being here. Thank you. Hey, hi, my name is Emmy Mizutani. I'm a student at Barstown High School, and I think scholarships are important just because no matter fi how financially set you are in life, it's always nice to have a little cushion. And also, scholarships lead to college, which you learn so much and you gain so much knowledge. And then in turn, you take that knowledge and give it right back into the community. So we're getting all these things from the community tonight just so we, 10 to 20 years later from now, we can go right back into. Thank you, and I know that our students are excited tonight about getting scholarships, but it usually seems like the parents are even more excited than the students about the scholarships, right? So um, will you share, introduce yourself and share a little bit from a parent's perspective about the value of scholarships? Yes, so my name is Misty Roller, and I am the mother of three children. So we have had the opportunity to take advantage of the scholarships throughout the years. And as Emmy and Brett have noted, it does lessen, did I say that? No, your brother is Brett, I'm sorry, oh my gosh. I love, his brother's awesome too, just as awesome as he is. I'm so sorry, Luke. Forgive me, mom. You know I love both of your boys, right? But anyways, as they said, it does lessen the financial burden. Whether the student's paying for it or the parents are paying for it, it does lessen it. But more importantly, I feel like it validates what we teach our kids. Hard work pays off. Give back to your community, serve your community, work hard in the classroom, it will pay off. And I feel like that's what scholarships do for me as a parent, so thank you. And then finally, we could not carry out the scholarship program that we do without a lot of people. But our school counselors and, and all the folks that we work with at our schools are so important to helping make that happen. And they invest so much in all of our students. So they see, they see it from um, a variety of perspectives. And we have um, Rita Kuntz, who will um, share a little bit about the value she sees in scholarships for her students. First of all, thank you so much to Central Kentucky Community Foundation. What a great organization. And it's awesome that we have the support, you know, that our students, um, you have their back. I always tell my kids, I've got your back. And this organization has our students back. As a counselor, you know, I'm always looking for money and ways for kids to uh, not have that debt. I'm a big Dave Ramsey fan. And debt's not necessary. I'm always telling them uh, there's money out there. There's money out there. So um, I really appreciate this foundation. Appreciate the donors. Thank you for um, supporting our children. Um, 
they're going to be what's going to be important to this community. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the board putting in your time because I know how important that is. And thank you, parents, for rearing these children because they're going to be the leaders of our community. So thank you so much. So you will notice on the back of your scholarship program, there is a complete list of all of our scholarship recipients from the foundation this year. We are also hosting a Celebrating Achievement event next Monday night in Elizabethtown. So we'll be presenting some of our awards there that evening. Um, but on the inside of your program, then you'll see the scholarships that we're presenting here tonight. I want to give you just a little perspective on the community's investment in you, our scholarship recipients. Um, we have hundreds of donors who help make these scholarships possible. Um, we currently have 98 scholarship funds. Many of them um, award every year because they're endowed funds, so they'll, they'll be here forever. And those funds total um, just nearly $11 million. We also have countless community members who help spread the word so that students hear about these scholarships. Um, we have 60 plus school counselors and personnel who really help um, get students over the finish line on their applications. Um, but also want to highlight the unseen heroes of our scholarships and that's our scholarship reviewers. This year we had 169 community members who volunteered to evaluate your scholarship applications. And that's a huge commitment and a lot of work um, that goes on behind the scenes to make these possible. And those are not folks who, who get any attention or publicity for it um, because we do work um, to uh, protect their identity in that selection process just as they don't see your names when they're evaluating your applications. Um, we don't share theirs. But we could not carry out the generosity and the wishes of the donors without the community volunteers to help us carry that out. So this community, it cares about you and it's investing in you and that's what we want you to leave here tonight knowing is that um, you not only have a financial investment from people, but a belief in you and your potential to succeed. Um, someday, as an adult, I think, as Ms. Roller acknowledged, that you will, you will be part of a community and have the opportunity um, to choose how you invest back in it. And that we hope that through the example you're seeing here tonight, as well as probably what's been invested in you throughout your life, that you will see an opportunity in a way that you can get involved and give back through either your time or your resources or both for those that will come after you, just as the donors tonight have done for you. Um, this year we also want to announce um, a new program that we're going to be launching that will give you a specific way to do that, and that's called a Give Back Scholarship. And so we're going to be working throughout this year to put together an opportunity for all of our past scholarship recipients to help create a new scholarship fund that will go forward um, for future generations. If you would like to be involved in helping create that um, from the ground up, everything from coming up with a better name than Give Back Scholarship, uh, to the marketing and the creative as well as the criteria and, and creating a scholarship that would appeal to your peers, then we would love to have your involvement. So just see one of us before you leave tonight and we'll, um, we'll make sure to get you um, connected with that process. But tonight, you're here to get to receive, and it's a great opportunity and a perfect time in your life to be the beneficiary of other people's investment and generosity for you. Um, before we move into the actual award presentations that I know is what you're waiting to see, I just want to say that we're blown away by how many of you all are here tonight. I mean, this is our second year having this program in Bardstown. There's over 130 people here. And I know it's a really busy time of year um, for schools and particularly for those of you that are graduating high school seniors. There's probably something on your calendar every night. And nearly all of our recipients were able to be here or had another school obligation that kept them from, from being present. So we really appreciate you making this a meaningful event. Um, we've worked hard to make it a quality program for you, um, but we are doing two events in four days and doing them both in person and offering a virtual option. So if we mess anything up, please give us a little grace. Um, we promise we'll, we'll get your checks out, <laughs> which is the most important, right? Um, but I'm, I'm thrilled to announce that this year we're giving out $352,000 in scholarships through 181 awards, and that'll go to 142 different students across our region. Um, yeah. <laughs> 
We had 443 students submit applications this year, and they submitted over 2,400 applications that those 169 evaluators scored and, and aligned with, with scholarship priorities. Um, these were students from 16 high schools and four colleges, and um, right now their plans are, and we know sometimes those change, to attend 12 different colleges in the fall. Um, we're going to present 52 awards tonight, and then the remainder will be presented on a Monday night. Um, we continue to work with people who want to increase educational support in our region, and we hope that every year we're able to uh, increase the scholarship offerings that we have and, and be able to give out more dollars. Um, many of these scholarships were very competitive. We had a couple that had over 100 applications, um, and some of the scholarships were decided by literally tenths of a point. So um, we have some very deserving students who, you know, did not end up receiving an award. Um, the most important thing to remember is that each scholarship has its own criteria, and and the selections are about how how a student aligns with that criteria. It's not, as I, I tell people, it's not a value judgment on the person. It's that different scholarships have different focuses and how people align for those and so we are honored to award all of those tonight um, and appreciate all of the folks who have been a part of making it happen. The CKCF board and staff, here's my big disclaimer, um, we are involved in the administration and execution but we did not determine any one person who received an award tonight. So if you're really happy, Matt and I and Drew did not pick you. <laughs> and, and if your friend's really mad that they didn't get it, we didn't pick that they didn't get one either. <laughs> that, um, that is an important part of the integrity of our process in the awarding. So um, for those of you watching virtually just want to give a, a shout out and um, if you want to send us a message and tell us where you're watching from um, as you see friends or family get recognized feel free to send a shout out and congratulations or classmates um, we want to make sure that you're able to send those messages along um, as we get ready to make the awards um, as our recipients and donors who are presenting if you'll come up on um, your right hand side and then as you exit behind me please so that we can keep folks moving. Um, recipients, if you would, uh, make sure that you pause for a moment. We're going to be getting pictures. You may have parents who want to stand up and get pictures. Don't make your parents mad tonight while you're getting scholarship money because you <laughs> zoom off the stage and they don't get the picture they wanted. Um, the mamas will thank you because you know they're going to want to put it on Facebook as soon as they get out of here, right? Uh, we are going to try to move through the program as expediently as we can, but we do want to give um, the, the due time and justice to our donors and to you, our recipients. So now that we have all the housekeeping out of the way, let's meet some winners. Our first scholarship is the Ann Ewing Memorial Scholarship. Ann spent her life learning and teaching in Nelson County. A graduate of Bethlehem High School and advanced math teacher at Bloomfield Middle and Nelson County High School, she was devoted to her students, with many saying that she is still their favorite teacher ever. She taught for 22 years until health, health issues forced her retirement. Anne requested her family establish this scholarship, and it awards two $1,000 scholarships as a way for her to continue to support education for Nelson County and Bethlehem students who she would never meet. Um, Roger Ewing is here with us tonight to make the presentations. The 2023 Ann Ewing Memorial Scholarship recipients are Challen McCoy and Luke Phelps. Through fundraisers throughout the year, the Bardstown Rotary Club supports many community efforts. Their annual scholarships are a big way that they give back, investing in the future of Nelson County youth. This year, they will be presenting nine $1,000 awards. Presenting on behalf of the club is Rob Smotherman. First recipient is Noah Brown.
Cameron Calvert. Nathan Horder. <laughs> McKenna Ice. Emmy Muzatani. <laughs> Luke Phelps. Ariana Rodriguez. Kaylin Stone. <laughs> and Reagan Trezot. Michael Salzman's passion for educating youth is so contagious that when he announced his retirement from BCD, colleagues Jason Herod and Mary Culver knew exactly how to honor Michael with a scholarship to support students. The BCD and J. Michael Salzman Construction Scholarship is open to students in Nelson County entering into a construction-related field of study. The 2023 BCD and J. Michael Salzman Construction Scholarship recipient is Lillian Walton.
The Carol Johnson Literacy Memorial Foundation Scholarship was established this year by her family in her memory. Carol was a retired kindergarten teacher from Bardstown Primary School and teaching kids to read was her passion. She loved being able to make a difference in as many children's lives as possible. This scholarship will honor Carol's legacy of helping others while assisting a young student on their path to service and leadership through an education degree. The first Carol Johnson Memorial Literacy Scholarship winner could not be with us tonight because she's on a school trip, but we wanted to recognize her and the scholarship, and that is Lola Strader. Before Elizabethtown Community College opened in 1964, local leaders worked to establish scholarships to help students be able to attend the new school. The Central Kentucky Community Foundation scholarships to ECTC are open for both new, returning, and adult students. These have been awarded now for over 50 years. Through the years, many businesses and individuals have contributed to this collective scholarship fund. Um, this year, we will award over $40,000 to students attending ECTC. The 2023 recipients of the Central Kentucky Community Foundation scholarships to ECTC being presented tonight are Robert Brown, Carson Cambron, <laughs> Reagan Cambron, Anthony Coulter, Grace Dickerson, <laughs> Lauren Fulkerson, Weston Gohagen, <clears throat> Jocelyn Myers. Dylan Moreno, <laughs> Michael Nally. <laughs> Grayson Newton. Ashley Phillips, <laughs> Ashley 
and Chesney Spain Howard. The Cindy Ethington Memorial Scholarship recognizes a Nelson County School student annually with a $1,000 scholarship. Cindy taught English and drama at Nelson County High School for many years where she was known for the amazing plays that she directed. She used her talents in the community through the Stephen Foster Music Club, Nelson County Theater Association, Association and Church Choir programs. The 2023 Cindy Ethington Memorial Scholarship recipient is Cecilia Rogers. Dr. Don Berry lived in Hodgenville where he had a veterinary practice for many years before he passed away in 2013. Music was also a big part of his life, sharing his talents through his church. In memory of Dr. Berry, two scholarships will be awarded this year. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Music Scholarship will be awarded to a graduating high school senior interested in music. Presenting the awards tonight is Dr. Berry's wife, Sherilyn. The 2000... <laughs> The 2023 Dr. Don Berry Memorial Scholarship for Music recipient is Samantha Perkins. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Veterinarian Scholarship will be awarded to a graduating high school senior pursuing studies in veterinary science, and the 2023 recipient is Kara Reed. To help make educational opportunities available to local students at ECTC, the Dr. Larry and Mary Lou Hall Scholarship Awards to one student annually. The 2023 recipient is Maggie Sweeney. The Elizabethtown Hardin LaRue Retired Teachers Association Scholarship assists future educators in the pursuit of their higher education degree. The recipients must have attended one of those school districts and plan to um, major in education and have already completed at least 60 hours of accredited coursework toward that degree. Um, because it is a college recipient, um, the student couldn't be with us tonight. It's finals week, I think. Um, or or a prep week for finals um, for a lot of our college students, but we did want to recognize that recipient who is Madison Wilmoth. <laughs> Through the generous estate gift of Cynthia Carter, many LaRue Countyans have support for college. The Harold and Cynthia Carter Memorial Scholarship is open to graduating seniors as well as past graduates of LaRue County High School to attend ECTC. The $2,000 renewable scholarship is being presented this year to four students. Through the fund, these recipients will be part of the Carter Scholars Program, which in conjunction with ECTC will provide student support services and educational enhancement opportunities. The 2023 Carter Scholars are Olivia Akers,
Allison Mulkins. Jackson Thomas. <laughs> and Landon Wells. Jacob Barber and Katerina Peters died in a car wreck in 2018. At the time, Katerina was 17 and a senior. Jacob, 18, had recently graduated. They were good friends and both active with the John Harden High School archery team, having been key members of the successful team that advanced to world championship competition. This scholarship awards to a male and female archery team member from John Harden High School where they attended, um, but this year it will also award to another male and female archery team member from throughout our region. Presenting the awards tonight, Asa and Debbie McCarthy. The 2023 recipients of the Jacob Barber and Katerina Peters Memorial Scholarships being presented tonight are Samantha Perkins, and Luke Phelps. Juana Alicia and Hilberta Rosas immigrated to the United States from Mexico in 1972. They worked hard their entire lives, overcoming numerous obstacles to provide a better life for their family. Their determination exemplified a never give up character to praise God, pursue an education, love this country, and to help others. They were never able to finish their own education, but believed in the dream of a higher education. This scholarship was established in their memory by their daughter, Maria Cantu, who unfortunately couldn't be with us this evening. Um, but we want to make that presentation of the 2023 Juana Alicia and Hilberta Rosa Scholarship to Emmy Muzatani. Through their estate, J.R. and Carrie Lee Edwards' support for education in LaRue County is investing in the next generation of educators. This $2,000 four-year renewable scholarship is open to anyone in LaRue County pursuing a degree in education. This year, it will award to four students. The 2023 J.R. and Carrie Lee Edwards scholarship recipients are Olivia Akers, Zachary Height, <clears throat> Macy Stillwell.
And our final recipient could not be here tonight again, Madison Wilmoth. The Casey Lee Johnson Memorial Scholarship was established following Casey's unexpected death and will com continue to make awards each year from this endowed scholarship um, for an aspiring nursing student at the University of Louisville. Casey was a devoted nurse in the U of L Trauma Intensive Care Unit. This scholarship recognizes her passion for caring for patients, which started early when she served as an EMT and continued through nursing school and her career. Presenting the award tonight is Casey's mother, Brenda Johnson. The 2023 Casey Lee Johnson Memorial Scholarship recipient is Lauren Brown. The Kathy Mattingly Kidwell Memorial Scholarship awards a $500 scholarship to a Nelson County High School or Thomas Nelson High School student each year in memory of Kathy who passed away in 2014 at the age of 35. Along with her family, Kathy was an active volunteer with Nelson County Special Olympics. She was also active with the American Diabetes Association and St. Gregory Catholic Church. A graduate of Western Kentucky University, she was a member of Sigma Kappa and worked at Sullivan University in the graduate school office. The 2023 Kathy Mattingly Kidwell Memorial Scholarship recipient is Carson Mattingly. Randy Pinkston spent his lifetime helping youth in Nelson and Hardin counties as a teacher, coach, and friend. He coached boys and girls basketball at St. Catherine, youth baseball, and was a Thomas Nelson golf team coach. He died in 2017 from cancer. Continuing his memory and investment in students is an annual $1,000 scholarship available to Nelson County School students. Presenting the award tonight is family friend Dave French. Don't make me walk this far. <laughs> <laughs> the 2023 Randy Pinkston Memorial Scholarship recipients are Kendall Crawford, <laughs> Carson Mattingly. Caden Roller. Who could not dropping things, who could not be with us tonight? And Maggie Sweeney. Taylor and June Spaulding spent their lives giving back to their Washington County community. They worked together on their farm, in their church, and their tireless volunteer work that helped launch and operate the Washington County Association for the Mentally Handicapped, which started a variety of programs, including a school, workshop program, and assisted living facilities. To honor their memory, an annual scholarship recognizes a graduating senior from Washington County High School who demonstrates a commitment to community service. Presenting the award tonight is Taylor and June's daughter, Paula Brewer. The 
The 2023 Taylor and June Spalding Memorial Scholarship recipient is Mary Wimsett. Taylor Martin was a senior at Thomas Nelson High School when she was killed in a car accident in 2015. She was a soccer player for the Lady Generals and Athletico Flames, worked at Keystone Cinemas, and was already taking college classes in preparation to attend Western Kentucky University the next fall. This $1,000 scholarship is awarded annually to a Thomas Nelson senior. The 2023 Taylor Martin Memorial Scholarship recipient is Caden Roller. A graduate of Nelson County High School, Tyler Foster was a senior at the University of Kentucky, majoring in accounting and finance when he died in 2015, along with his friends Keaton Hall and Jordan Hickman. Tyler was a member of the Global Mobility Unit in the Kentucky Air National Guard. His college career was interrupted multiple times for service with his unit and for work experience. The University of Kentucky awarded Tyler a degree in accounting posthumously to acknowledge his effort maintaining a 4.0 GPA while facing the challenges of military service. The $1,000 Tyler M. Foster Scholarship awards to two students who show the commitment to learning, persistence, hard work, and caring for others that Tyler demonstrated. Presenting the awards tonight are his parents, Lila and Dale Foster. The 2023 Tyler M. Foster Scholarship recipients are Justice Elon, <laughs> and Eleanor Height. So you can probably see we're at the end of the list. So that's a wrap on our awards, but I wanna make a couple of comments. Recipients, as you notice, many of you were seated at tables that related to your scholarship, but some of you received more than one scholarship, and it was not possible to physically make all of the seating arrangements work that we would have liked to. If you received a, a scholarship that you're not seated with, I think particularly some of our Bardstown Rotary recipients may not have all been able to sit with that one, but there were a couple of others as well. If you received a scholarship and your donor was here and you got to shake their hand, but you haven't gotten a chance to talk with them, please try to find them before you leave tonight and, and be able to, to share a, a few moments together and get to know each other a little bit. Um, also, although it may seem like this is the end, you've received your scholarship, you're not quite finished yet. Being awarded the scholarship is just the beginning. Uh, make sure that you complete the next steps. So you have a card of instructions that you should have received. It says congratulations, recipient instructions. Um, if you didn't, oh wait, they didn't receive those? Okay, um, be, go, make sure you get this before you leave um, because it tells you what you need to do to accept your scholarship and for us to make sure that we send your money to the school you really plan to attend. We know sometimes that changes from the time you did applications. If you don't accept your scholarship, we won't pay it. And then, and, then, and then moms and dads are gonna call us in about October going, they still owe money and we're gonna go, we haven't heard from them since they walked across the stage in April. So help us out, check your email, whatever email you use to register with Scholarship Central, you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on that between now and when your scholarship gets paid for your school. So in all the excitement tonight, don't miss this. Um, if you would like to grab some photos with friends, with family, with your, um, 
um, with your donor. Um, there's a backdrop in the back. We encourage you to make use of that and share any of that that you want um, through your social channels with your friends, etc. It would also be a great time if you want to grab a quick video, a thank you, particularly if you have a scholarship and a donor wasn't here, you didn't get to talk to them tonight. Grab a quick video. You'll be able to upload that into your scholarship account, Scholarship Central account, and we can share that out. We love seeing all of the celebratory photos and videos and able to um, help bring that full circle for, for our donors. So thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. You truly helped make our scholarship program a success, and we appreciate your continued contributions for it. Thank you.